Iowa Catholic Radio presents the Daily Mass from St. Francis of Assisi Catholic Church in West Des Moines. Father Joseph Pins, pastor. Father John Broby, associate pastor. We offer this Mass for Patricia Nance. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. The Lord be with you. To prepare ourselves to celebrate this sacred mystery, let us, in a moment of silence, call to mind our sins. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. Grant, we pray, Almighty God, that though in our weakness we fail, we may be revived through the passion of your only begotten Son, who lives and reigns within each of the Holy Spirit. God forever and ever. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. Here is my servant whom I uphold, my chosen one with whom I am pleased, upon whom I have put my spirit. He shall bring forth justice to the nations, not crying out, not shouting, not making his voice heard in the street. A bruised reed he shall not break, and a smoldering wick he shall not quench, until he establishes justice on the earth. The coastlands will wait for his teaching. Thus says God the Lord, who created the heavens and stretched them out, who spreads out the earth with its crops, who gives breath to its people and spirit to those who walk on it. I, the Lord, have called you for the victory of justice. I have grasped you by the hand. I formed you and set you as a covenant of the people, a light for the nations, to open the eyes of the blind, to bring out prisoners from confinement, and from the dungeon those who live in darkness. The word of the Lord. The Lord is my light and my salvation. The Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom should I fear? The Lord is my life's refuge. Of whom should I be afraid? The Lord is my light and my salvation. When evildoers come at me to devour my flesh, my foes and my enemies themselves stumble and fall. The Lord is my light. Though an army encampment encamp against me, my heart will not fear. Though war be waged upon me, even then will I trust. I believe that I shall see the bounty of the Lord in the land of the living. Wait for the Lord with courage. Be stout-hearted and wait for the Lord. Hail to you, our King, you alone are compassionate with our faults. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Six days before, the, before Passover, Jesus came to Bethany, where Lazarus was, whom Jesus had raised from the dead. They gave a dinner for him there, and Martha served. With Lazarus, while Lazarus was one of those reclining at table with him, Mary took a liter of costly perfume oil made from genuine Aramaic nard and anointed the feet of Jesus and dried them with her hair. Then Judas, the Iscariot, of the one of the, his disciples and the one who would betray him, said. 
Why was this oil not sold for three hundred days' wages and given to the poor? He said this not because he cared about the poor, but because he was a thief and held the money bag and used to steal the contributions. So Jesus said, Leave her alone. Let her keep this for the day of my burial. You always have the poor with you, but you do not always have me. The large crowd of the Jews found out that he was there and came, not only because of him, but also to see Lazarus, whom he had raised from the dead. And the chief priests plotted to kill Lazarus too, because many of the Jews were turning away and believing in Jesus because of him. The Gospel of the Lord. And so my dear people of God, we are in Holy Week, the most important week in the church's liturgical calendar. This morning, I present the three hours of Holy Week. The three hours of Holy Week. The first hour is read. The second R is repair. The third R is resolve. The three R's of Holy Week. The first R is read. The second is repair. And then the last, my dearly beloved, is resolve. In this week, I invite all of us to read the last three chapters of all the synoptic gospels. This week, my dearly beloved, that is your first hour, to read the three chapters, the last three chapters of all the synoptic gospels. That is Matthew, Mark, and Luke. That will give you a holistic view or picture of exactly what is happening in Holy Tridium, in the Easter Tridium. You read that of Matthew, you read that of Mark, and you read that of Luke. And as you read, try to note the different ways of presentation by the different authors. And then in the Gospel of John, you read the last four chapters. So Matthew will be chapter 26, 27, and 28. Mark will be chapter 14, 15, and 16. Luke will be chapter 22, 23, and 24. And John will be 18, 19, 20, and 21. And so my dearly beloved, this week is a week to read. To read about the last days of Jesus. Then the second hour is to repent. As you read these Gospels, and as you reflect on them, as you meditate on them, they will invite you, my dearly beloved, to repair every damaged relationship. Every strained relationship. Every broken relationship. And especially, my dearly beloved, in this week, it is a week to pray for people that we are not okay with. There is somebody in your life you are not okay with a person. It could be your sister, it could be your brother, it could be your father or your mother, it could be a colleague at work, it could even be your children, it could be a friend. I invite you, my dearly beloved, in this week to repair these damaged relationships, these broken relationships. Christian life is all about relationship. Relationship with God and relationship with one another. In Holy Week, my dearly beloved, as we look upon the cross, we repair vertical and horizontal relationship. And the last one, my dearly beloved, is to resolve. To make a resolution. There is an addiction. There is a weakness. There is this particular sin 
that my dearly beloved, you are struggling with. St. Augustine will tell us that God who created you without you cannot save you without you. I take that again. St. Augustine says that God who created you without you cannot save you without you. And again, grace works upon nature. Please underline that. Grace works upon nature. If we do not cooperate with the grace of God, my dearly beloved, it is useless. We have to cooperate with the grace of God. And that is where we must resolve to overcome that weakness. Resolve to overcome that addiction. Resolve to overcome that sin. You can, you have that power in you to say no and let your no be no. It is a week to resolve. Martha Church invites all of us to try one more time. That addiction, if you don't do it, cannot kill you. Only two things. If you don't eat, you will die. If you don't drink water, you will die. I've never seen anybody who died because they didn't take ice cream for after dinner. I've never seen anybody who died because they didn't have cake before they went to bed. Yes, you know you are overeating. Mother Church said, resolve to say no to food. You won't die. To all the sweets and all the cookies, you won't die without them. If you don't watch that movie, you will not die. If you don't have that extra pleasure, you will not die. It will not kill you. When you resolve that I will not die if I don't do it, you will have the power to overcome it. That is the way to go. And on this day, my dearly beloved, we have Mary who anointed the feet of Jesus. And that is genuine love. Genuine love, my dearly beloved, does not count the cost. Judas is counting the cost. But a woman with an alabaster jar has genuine love, has true love, and so she doesn't count the cost. If you can count the cost, it is not love. Shall we rise and trust in our God, present our petitions before him? For the church throughout the world, may the grace of God continue to strengthen and nourish her. Let us pray to the Lord. For those in authority, may God give them strength in their efforts to uphold the dignity and sanctity of human life. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who seek forgiveness, may God's mercy work in and through them and bring peace. Let us pray to the Lord. For this faith community, may the grace of the sacraments purify our hearts. Let us pray to the Lord. For Patricia and Nate, and for all who have died, may God welcome them into his eternal kingdom of love and joy. Let us pray to the Lord. And for all those prayers that are in the depths of our hearts, let us pray to the Lord. I have a damaged relationship. You have a damaged relationship. We all have broken relationships. Let us ask our mother Mary to intercede on our behalf for all these people that we have in our lives, that our relationship with them are broken or damaged, that through the intercession of our mother Mary, all these relationships will be repaired. Even as we pray, Hail Mary, full, full of grace, grace. The, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst Lord. women, and blessed, blessed is the fruit Lord. of thou Jesus. Jesus. Holy, Holy Mary, Mary, Mother of God, Pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. May the words of our mouth and the meditation of our hearts be acceptable to God through Christ our Lord. Amen. 
Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Pray, brethren, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Look graciously, O Lord, upon the sacred mysteries we celebrate here, and may what you have mercifully provided to cancel the judgments we incur bear for us fruit in eternal life. Through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord, for the days of His saving passion and glorious resurrection are approaching, by which the pride of the ancient foe is vanquished, and the mystery of our redemption in Christ is celebrated. Through him the host of angels adores your majesty, and rejoices in your presence forever. May our voices we pray join with theirs, in one chorus of exultant praise, as we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, Heaven and earth are full of your glory. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy therefore these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving you thanks, broke it, and gave it to disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to the disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be guided into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of church, which is Francis, our Pope, and William Johnson, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember your servant, Patricia Nance, whom you've called from this world to yourself. Grant that she was united with your son in a death like his. May also be one with him in his resurrection. Remember also our brothers and sisters, who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may marry to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in each of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. 
at the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, we said to your apostles, Peace, I leave you my peace, I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church. And graciously grant the peace and unity in accordance with your will, to live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other a sign of peace. Lamb of God. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold Jesus who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who called to the supper of the Lamb. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most blessed sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot now receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there, and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. There will be confessions at the Mass today, tomorrow, and Wednesday. An hour of confessions today at the Mass, tomorrow, and then on Wednesday. Our last chance for confessions will be Wednesday noon. Thursday, Friday, Saturday, there will be no confessions. So please take advantage today, tomorrow, and Wednesday. Let us pray. Visit your people, O Lord, we pray, and with ever watchful love, look upon the hearts dedicated to you by means of these sacred mysteries, so that under your protection we may keep safe this remedy of eternal salvation, which by your mercy we have received, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Bow down for the blessing. May your protection, O Lord, we pray, defend the humble and keep ever safe those who trust in your mercy, that they may celebrate the Paschal festivities not only with bodily observance, but above all with purity of mind, through Christ our Lord. Amen. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go and announce the gospel of the Lord. Have a wonderful week. You've been listening to the Daily Mass from St. Francis of Assisi Catholic Church in West Des Moines on the Iowa Catholic Radio Network.